What do you get when you cross a shockingly accurate satire and commentary on Gen Z culture with a clever horror comedy concept and fill it with a pitch-perfect cast, eerie atmosphere, kick-ass electronic score, and beautiful cinematography? You get a little A24 movie by the name of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. What's up, everybody? Anthony here from Awesome Anthony Productions. And before we get started, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so that you never miss a review or short. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. The link for those are in the description below. Let's get into it. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies centers on a group of rich 20-something things, and one 40-year-old boyfriend from Tinder waiting on a hurricane in the mansion. To pass the time, they decide to play Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Oh, Who wants to play Bodies, Bodies, Bodies? A game like Werewolf. Like, I'm not the werewolf. One person is the killer, everybody hides, the killer walks around, taps somebody on the shoulder, that person dies. They yell, Bodies, 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 everybody rushes in, and then, of course, they have to interrogate and find out who the killer is. Fun, right? Well, yeah, it is. Until one of them is found dead. Like, really dead. From there, the entire group panics, tensions rise, trust flies right out the fucking window, and we get an intense yet hilarious hour and a half of some of the darkest comedy I've seen in a while, with a really biting satirical edge that just solidifies this as a perfect Gen Z film that's probably going to become a classic. This movie doesn't just want to poke fun at Gen Z. It embraces the culture with all of its trappings by showing us a group of friends that spend all their time with their phones in their hand, whether they're texting, scrolling through social media, or creating TikToks, while getting completely shit face to avoid their problem. Well, you know that has weed in it, right? Giving each other fake smiles and hugs, and only talking to each other through buzzwords and politically correct statements so that they can remain in each other's good graces. Why is gaslighting me? You fucking trigger me. You are so toxic. Relax, relax. You're silencing me. Meanwhile, these are almost all terrible people. Sociopaths, pathological liars, narcissists that will stab each other in the back at a moment's notice, metaphorically, of course, though by the end of the movie, with the high stress and deadly situation they're in, it could be literal. This is the greatness of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. It gives us this group of 20-something rich Gen Zers that is perfectly cast, throws them into a typical scenario so you expect a straightforward slasher film, and then turns the concept on its head with some really clever writing. This is helped by the fact that it plays it completely straight even before the plot actually kicks off. The interactions between these friends feel very real with how a real group of these type of people would actually behave and treat each other in this kind of a situation. And the interpersonal drama and gossip between these so-called friends is acted so well, particularly from Pete Davidson of all people. What is it? It's zucchini bread. Yum. That you get completely sucked in and start to care about these characters, even if they're all assholes, except for Lee Pace. So how do you play? You know what, now that I brought a few of them up, I'm just gonna go through the cast and mention why they all rock. There's Amanda Stenberg, who you may recognize from The Hunger Games as Rue, and most recently was in The Hate You Give as Star. Here, she plays Sophie, former addict and alcoholic that is just trying to get through the hurricane sober and surrounded by her friends. She plays this role incredibly well, bouncing between false confidence and sheer temptation from all the partying around her to a character that actually regresses more than she grows, but the movie is just written so well that we're still engrossed in her character's journey. It honestly makes for a really interesting experience. Her character arrives at the party unexpectedly, nobody thought she was gonna come, with her new girlfriend of a few weeks, B, played by Maria Baklava. This character reminds me a lot of Aaron in Your Next, the shy and quiet type who's the new one in the group, but ends up being far more resourceful and badass than anybody expected. She gives off definite final girl energy, but trust me, that's not a spoiler because this film is more nuanced than that. It would be so fucking obvious if I were the killer. Anyway, she's great in this role and I can't wait to see her in more movies. There's also Pete Davidson, of course, playing David, the spoiled son of the rich parents that owns the mansion that they're having the hurricane party in. Wait, David, the son of rich people, David's son, Pete Davidson. <laughs> Clever. Anyway, he brings a surprising amount of dramatic weight, especially in a couple scenes that he shares with Sophie. He's also a pretty layered character, showing off and acting out his petty jealousy of Lee Pace's character. Is that all you got, mother? While trying to keep everyone on his side as he loses control and is clearly unhappy and not processing it well. Speaking of Lee Pace, he's fantastic here. He's just a chill dude that wants to spend time with his new girlfriend and fit in with her friends. And his laid back, relaxed presence just made me smile whenever he was on screen. Until it didn't. The rest of the cast is great too. There's Mahala Harold as the perpetual pot stir and pathological liar Jordan that seems to bring chaos and conflict to whoever she talks to. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, but Chase Sweet Wonders as David's girlfriend, the constantly crying and Xanaxed up Emma. What is that? Xanax, you want one? Yeah. Who has never had an original thought in her life, and saving the best for last, 
Rachel Sennett as Alice. I'd never heard of Sennett before this film, but she apparently started with a web series and is huge on Twitter for her comedy, and now I see why. She is the absolute embodiment of I love everyone, I'm so bubbly, relate to me type of girl that most of her friends can't stand. And nearly every line out of her mouth made me laugh out loud. What are you doing? I'm staying safe. Really? Because it looks like you're grabbing a meat cleaver to go look for my boyfriend. Though this is definitely helped by the writing, Senate's straight face delivery and comedic timing is great and she has a great presence and I hope to see her in more things. One line in particular during an incredibly intense scene where she basically stops the whole movie to preach about being an ally had me in tears, especially when it turns into her talking about her podcast. The growing uneasiness, tension, and stress between these characters is very palpable and meshes well with the satirical and dark comedy to keep you engrossed until the very end. That's also aided by the fantastic cinematography. The use of smartphones is pretty much all of the lighting in the back half. It was genius and it looks so beautiful on the big screen. All of this adds up to a climax that had my jaw dropped with just how terrible these friends are to each other. And a final reveal that I absolutely loved and thought perfectly embodied the satire of Gen Z that this movie was going for. Though I can understand why people going in looking for a more typical slasher or horror movie might be a little disappointed. Oh shit, I almost forgot the score. Disaster Piece killed it here with their follow up to the fantastic soundtrack from It Follows with an eerie yet club-esque electronic score that really just kept the momentum going throughout the whole movie and added to the creepiness in a lot of parts. Overall, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is a fantastic satirical black comedy that will probably become the quintessential Gen Z horror movie in years to come. And I can't recommend it enough, especially if you come from that demographic. And that's my review. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Anthony from Awesome Anthony Productions. If you like this review or found it helpful, please go ahead and leave a like. Comment below and tell me what you thought. You can also go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever I post again so you never miss any of my content. I also post shorts weekly along with TikToks and Instagram Reels. So if you want to follow me on those, they're in the description below. Also, if you want more of my content, go ahead and tap or click on the cards here. They'll take you to my channel or you can go check out my review of Beast. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.